Okay, palette one is green. That works. Palette two is what the heck is this? Palette three. Palette four. The palettes I saved out of Fighter Factory Ultimate did not work. Uh, I don't know why. <sighs> okay, so screw Fighter Factory Ultimate. I'll try the original Fighter Factory. Okay, so pellet 2 and pellet 3 are messed up. We'll save this as pellet uh, two. Two and three are messed up, so I'll just delete them right now. Close this out. I mean, this pellet, uh, this will be pellet I want the green one to be pellet two, the red one. Is pallet one, so I need to make pallet three, uh, pallet four. Pallet three will be like a blue. So I'll just copy, paste. Palette 3 and 4 are the same right now, but I'll change it later. So I can go to load the character here again. Okay. Three and four are black, so I'll take palette three into the palette editor. Actually, I'll take the original one into the palette editor and I'll make this a blue. Make a light blue. That's fine. So you can see. And I can save this as palette 3. And hopefully that fixed my problem.
now we're talking. <laughs> okay, so for some reason, Fighter Factory Ultimate, Fighter Factory Ultimate. When I saved the pallets, they got messed up, and I don't know why. But in the, the original Fighter Factory, that's easier to make, so works works good now. Round one, fight. Okay, I had a bit of a hiccup there, but I got through it, and that's pretty much how you make a, you know, a, a smart palette for your characters, and you would just do the same thing, starting from the step where you draw the mask on top of the animation and apply the separate palettes and then mix them all together, then apply the master palette, and then then you can do whatever you want here. And just keep adding more and more until you fill the character up. That's it. So, hope this helps.